Hey, good evening. Dave Campbell, Dave Campbell Shorts. Eh, I'm a little grouchy tonight. I was thinking about <clears throat> the raid on the on the Capitol. And it just really irritates me that I didn't hear of any anything like the Secret Service trying to stop that raid. Um it just it just blows my mind and you know, not being an intelligence guy, um, but noting the things that I've seen about intelligence and then some of the books I've read about Trump in recent months and the use of intelligence and in white collar crime today, uh, I just am very saddened that I, I know at my level, when I was an E5 and an E6 in the Navy, um, you could you could tell when there were sometimes and there was things that were a little off color, and I didn't participate in those things. Um, for example, they dumped a bunch of barrels of stuff in the in the ocean when we were crossing the Med. Okay. And I thought, well, that's not right, you know. And then later on, we see a dead whale. I mean, I, obviously, it wasn't from our dump, but maybe it's from somebody else's dump. Um, but as relating to intelligence, here's what really makes me sick to my stomach, and it's bothering me really bad tonight. There are there are, you know, thousands of people in in our government who are doing great work. They they come to work, they do their job, they have families, um, and they try to do good, and they feel honored to serve their country like I did and like I know many, many people still do today. And I praise those people, and I salute the, our veterans and, our, and our, our government workers. It's not an easy job, um, but normally it's a pretty well-paying job, and you have the opportunity for advancement. So here's what's really bothering me for tonight. Uh, when you know something is wrong and you see things that are absolutely wrong and detrimental to the country and you keep your mouth shut and your eyes closed, that's not right. That's not right. And I just was thinking about this at the level of nonsense that's going on at the Capitol and there's got to be several mid to upper level intelligence people who had to have heard something and know or know something and why they don't say anything so then you have to think well who are they going to tell if they tell their superiors maybe their superiors are on the take and maybe they know it and how disconcerting so I'm just like, if you've, if you've looked at any of my videos and, and the, what I'm talking about, it is really the only thing that we can do as a people is begin a peaceful project development program that's nationwide that demands ethical bill writing and ethical commercial project development with the help of regular people who just want to get involved in their government. We have to do it. We have to do it. It must be done um, through, through a website like the one I'm proposing, the Cash Initiative. We're going to be able to track and make public all the different projects that are going on. And what that will do is as we're as we use ethical best practices to develop our laws, uh, we can literally be, begin to get enough people and enough power behind us to then identify, start identifying the bad practices, the bad laws, and use a four tier accounting system to start bringing. Uh, all of our processes back to uh, an honorable and a powerful manner of governance. You know, we, we can't have 
I just found out, and I've had several videos where I've talked about this company called Arcanum Global, which, oh my God, if you read the bio, you can see there's retired UK uh, intelligence people, retired US high intelligence people, and the, the man who runs it is, uh, is uh, it, you know, he owns banks and he owns a, a mining company. I mean, it, it's an obvious money laundering and, and uh, kleptocratic di uh, mechanism for, for pushing white collar crime and uh, spinning stories and, and doing all the things that, uh, that are happening that we're seeing. And it really troubles me. Another thing that's been troubling me uh, is that nobody is speaking about it, but if, I, if I'm speaking about it, and it's been bothering me, and I've been speaking about it, and all my friends walk away from me. I say, like, God damn it, where is the fucking, it's the courage. Where are the people with courage in this country? Where are the people that are, that will remember your life and say, Dave, I'm with you. I, I haven't heard that. I, I literally have not heard that. And I've been going at this in a peaceful manner for several months now and I have not heard one pick one I've not received one phone call from a friend who says Dave I'm proud of you for what you're doing <laughs> so you know I I just uh, I marvel at those things I marvel at how how people flock to money and they flock to who's cool and uh, saying the right thing and not making any waves. You know, it's it's no wonder Putin could see that he could uh, easily manipulate a, a knothead like Trump. You know, it's it's no wonder he could he sits back and he makes comments that the the that the presidents of the United States are not powerful. It's no wonder. He's he's been studying our our culture and you know from what I've seen in the last eighteen months you know I I, I see cowardice from pastors I see cowardice from co commercial leaders I see cowardice from banking executives I see cowardice 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 up and down and uh, I'm still making the videos and. Um, I'm going to continue to challenge my friends, my loved ones, my fellow Americans to get behind me. I, I'm not a coward, and I understand what it takes to to uh, be brave and free. I, I served my country. I took the oath. Uh, but, you you know, you can't do things like this by yourself so it's time i'm going to ask you guys i'm going to ask you like share and subscribe quit ignoring me get behind me you know i try to i i've been crazy dave all my life i've always been a goofy you know have a strange sense of humor and i'm not going to lose that you know but i'm not afraid to tell you what i feel and how i feel and i'm not afraid to come on camera with bad hair don't care um, you people need a real person to trust and, and somebody who you can develop courage, your courage from. Um, so look, look who's on my wall. It didn't just go up yesterday. That's been there for a long time. That's Theodore Roosevelt, and there is the speech. Okay, that's his famous speech about it's not the critic who counts. It's the man in the arena. Here, let me show you some other stuff. There's my deep sea diving certificates, second class dive school in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. And I had to take a ferry right over the Arizona Memorial, right? So I would make you have a tear in your eye just about every time you went over that. Panama City, Florida was where I got my first class dive school. Took me 10 years to get my bachelor's degree, but there it is. 
Okay, I got that with Spring Arbor. And I have a Master of Business Administration. Not because I like to collect degrees, but because I have a business model that makes a lot of money. It makes a lot of money because it does things the right way. And I've lost a lot of money because I've done things the right way. Okay? So, that's what I'm tired. I'm tired of... Uh, Dealing with men who have no, they have no uh, inner, their wiring is all about money. Or, I don't know what their wiring is. It's not what I'm wired if, with, but I need to find some men like me. Here's my, uh, see that? That's a plaque that I got for my years of service on the Edenton. Number one needle gun, man. It's because I used to complain because I... They spent all that money on me for dive training, and I was <laughs> ended up uh, chipping and painting most of the time. Here's my first class diver pen, and the, my guys. Yeah, hopefully you can't see their faces. I'm gonna post this anyway. And then um, there's some sales awards. This was I hit a million dollars in sales before I even graduated college, so. I did that twice, and I've done a lot of things. Here's my uh, board. This this isn't quite right, but it's my uh, argument for superpower versus kleptocracy. Yeah, I've got a lot more written down about that, but anyway, I just wanted you to hear my gripe. All right, I'm going to post my gripe, and... Um, Let you chew on it. Investors, business leaders, bank leaders, stock market, banking system, we need all that. We need to reboot. And we don't need to have a major um, economic crisis before we get there. We need to do it now. So please give me a call, 231 360 8704. My name is Dave Campbell. Thank you.